priority for you guys to watch these news stories. Yeah. Are you doing the picking or am I? You can you can pick. <laughs> you're, the, you're in charge. Go ahead. Because I just think that like it shows that there are still good people out in the world, and I think um, you know you bring the good to the news because there's sometimes most of the time there's just bad stuff like people in trouble or stuff like that. But you bring the good to the news, good news up in front of everything else. And what do you think she wants you to learn from that? That um, there's different things that we can do that could impact somebody else's life mm -hmm. and get something to happen because of them. I think that's right. Mm -hmm. um, I've discovered recently there are a lot of teachers like Ms. Thompson who are showing the stories and it kind of falls under the umbrella, and you know more about this than I do, but it kind of falls under the umbrella of character education. Mm -hmm. One of the first things I teach my kids, taught my kids, and what I emphasize more than anything, is tell the truth. Because character, I think, matters above all else. And teaching kids character, I think, matters more than anything. You guys in this room may not, uh, you may, may, probably aren't the richest kids in America. You may not even be the smartest kids in America. But you could end up being the greatest kids. Because if you come out of your education, as a, as a young person with great character, who I can trust, and I know is gonna do kind things, that's who I wanna hire. That's who I wanna give a job to. I don't care, I don't want my kids to grow up to be a NASA scientist if they're not going to be good people. But if they grow up to become a welder or an insurance salesman who people can trust and does great things, that's what I want for my kids and that's what I want for all kids in America. So. It's funny, since you know, hearing from Ms. Thompson and all the other teachers, I kind of feel like I have a new mission with the stories I tell. That I'm, and I've been thinking lately about you guys in the back of my head when I choose which stories I'm going to tell. I haven't told my bosses this, but it does enter my mind. You know, how's this going to play in Ms. Thompson's class? How are they going to be able to use this? What role does this serve? So it's interesting. I've been thinking about you guys you know, for probably at least the last month. And it's kind of redefining what I do. You didn't know any of this, did you? No. No. <laughs> no I, I totally agree. I think, I mean, any story, and they don't know it, but sometimes the stories that I choose, I mean, they're, they're with a purpose. You know, some of your stories that have highlighted kids that have dealt with bullying, or kids that sit alone at lunch, or kids that, um, you know, one that stands out to me is the kid who thought about taking his own life and reached out, and social media just swarmed him with oh, yeah. all of the positive comments and that he wasn't alone and, and so they don't know it but oftentimes it's it's an attempt to reach one of them but I, I couldn't agree more I don't think there's anything better out there for character education and I think the kids would agree and it, it really has changed I think a lot of the way that they think about it and the bigger picture and I tell them all the time it's great to be a, a quick reader and to be able to write well but at the end of the day if you're a good person that'll take you farther in life.